Hi friends, thanks for joining me this morning. I apologize for Friday, um, Monday's technical difficulties. For whatever re reason, I was getting like the uh, swirl from death where it just wouldn't connect. So I just went ahead and dropped off. My husband wasn't here to help me. And so I had to just kind of cancel it. But I'll do the same product that I was planning on doing on this coming Monday. So all right, so today I'm going to be doing a kit. It's called Garden of Thanks. It's really beautiful, and um, I hope that you take a peek at it and enjoy it. In the meantime, I'm going to do some cards, just one of each of the three designs, and then I'm going to show you how I incorporated those cards or the elements of the cards into a scrapbook layout. Okay, um, I just wanted to remind you the mini catalog. Um, it actually goes live on the 4th of September. So keep that in mind, lots of goodies in here, but there's also some items that are online now that are online exclusive and are like the kits. The kits are all online. They're not gonna be shown in any catalog. So take a look at what's online and you'll find that um, there's some really cute Christmas stuff there, some really beautiful stuff like um, the season of green and gold. So that is one of my favorites. So, but lots of cute stuff in here too. So make sure that you check it out on September 4th. Okay. So it's just as a reminder, um, all the kits come all inclusive. They have, you need nothing but a pair of scissors. Okay. So this has five, four stamps and it's a sprig. Um, and then it has, <coughs> sorry, you're the best. Thank you. And I appreciate you so much. So you can see um, all the items that are part of that kit. <clears throat> so these are the cards that come with the kit. And the colors are um, bubble bath and berry burst um misty moonlight and i believe it's lemon lime twist and um and then there's some gold so okay and then of course it always comes with these really great colored instructions and then it also has the stamps so that if you want to figure out what it is, you can always put this in a cellophane bag along with a stamp set and you've got the information. So really handy of what stamp sets that you have. So these are great for thank yous and I love this set. So never have enough to thank yous, especially with all the things that people have been doing to help um, our family get over the grief of our daughter. So, okay. Um, so there are three cards. So we're gonna do one of the blue ones. <clears throat> These are some of the elements from the, the card. On front and back so if you're loving that you can easily cut that in half and add it to a white card and then even this one has a really beautiful gold foil on it so and then of course we have the envelopes these are all the same and they have this really pretty gold foil on the flap and then we have the the block blue dots, dimensionals, embellishments, and ribbon. So you can see the little gold foil self-adhesive sequins, and then blue dots, of course, and then our stamp block. Okay, so let's sort out these three cards. So we have all the information that we need for each one. Okay, so...
This one goes here, and then there's a thank you. So this is also in French, Dutch, and German. And I used one of them already for the scrapbook page. And then this one goes with the uh, blue card base. I mean, these are so pretty and they have the gold for them. Just lovely. And then this one goes with the white card. It's really pretty. Again, the little gold foil and, and the leaves. Very pretty. Okay. And then they've got some little sprigs here. And you'll have to remove these gently because they are rather thin. And these go with this one. And looks like the ribbon only goes with the one. Okay, so these are for the sentiments and they always give you four of each or extra. So we only need um, two of them. So one circle and one rectangle. All right, so let's do the first card. It's the easiest. And I'm gonna use my Missy Moonlight like I said, I have always keep these for my uh, new customers. So, hey, if you're hopping on, feel free to say hi. And uh, appreciate you watching. Okay, so this card here, really beautiful. No stamping. <laughs> so all we have to do is add the glue dots to the back of this. Like I said, it comes in um, Dutch and German. So if you have anybody that you know that's over there that speaks that language or someone here in the States, you can always send that to them as well. So we're going to butt this up against the left side. Looks like it's straight. And then we're going to add some of these dimensionals. These are the little ones, the mini ones. And they're pretty small, but I think I'm gonna cut them in half for the area behind the, I think I need a pair of tweezers for these. Just one more. So don't be shy about cutting these in half if you feel like they're a little bit too big. So I don't know about you, but I have um, just started making sourdough. My um, stepdaughter had a sourdough that she did all the time for her family. She was quite the extraordinary domestic goddess, as they say, but also brilliant in other things. And so those are the embellishments. Beautiful card. And then you just have the envelope here. makes for a really beautiful combination. So beautiful thank you to send out. Um, and, you know, just to keep her as part of our lives, I took a little bit of the starter and my um, daughter-in-law also took a little bit of the starter and 
um, we're making sourdough bread. So, okay. Um, so this one, we need to stamp the sentiment. I appreciate you so much. Kitty hair. Looks like it's about level. So this one, we're going to do also a little bit of stamping, and I missed that. We're going to be using a sprig as part of the stamp set. So we just used this sentiment, and now we're going to use this sprig. And it looks like we just kind of do them off to the edge. And you know, I can always add this to the envelope as well. I really like this sprig, it's really beautiful. Very pretty. Okay, now we just add some dimensionals to the back of this. Make sure I'm looking at the instructions correctly. probably should have stamped that up a little bit higher. I can stamp another one because I think that's going to cover up, be covered up just about completely by the, the floral cut out. There we go. And then we just add some dimensionals on the back of this. Just pops up right here. And then we have these beautiful little gold sequins. The instructions show that I'm supposed to put them on top of there, but I think they kind of disappear. So I like them on the blue better. And then we've got this little card to match. Lovely. All right. Last one. So this one doesn't have the background stamp and looks like we're just going to be using you're the best. Oh, oh it's thank you.
Okay, so that's it for stamping. All right, so now it's telling me that I need to turn this over and they want this one on this side and this one on this side and let me just look at it. So I would rather kind of see where it is that they're telling me to put it and then alter it accordingly because I like it when the little green sprigs kind of pop up over the top of the floral and then same thing with the flower so kind of figure out where you want to put it and then And then I'm using the dimensionals to hold the sprig in place and the flower up. So So I've changed it a little bit from what they showed because I wanted both of them to be up more. Okay, so let's fold this in half. And it looks like I need 15 inches of the ribbon. Pretty ribbon, I like it. Okay. So, need to add I'll do this afterwards because it looks like it goes to the front of the floral arrangement. So let's get this on the card first. All right, so I'm going to add a glue dot about right here, and then I can add my my linen thread, so or baker's twine. That seems like it really long for 15 inches. Well, right, and then I'm gonna so one of the dimensionals I'm putting on top of the bow to kind of help hold it in place because we do want to make sure that and then we've got I think I'm going to trim some of this off. There we go. Beautiful. Really. Okay. So now let's get to the scrapbook. This is the fun part. I'm going to need these. Okay. 
So obviously I worked on this last night in preparation. So as you can see, there's a couple of things that are added to it that were not part of the original. So this one I already put together. And as you can see, I left the blue card completely out here and the white card completely here. And then I started with the bubble bath 12 by 12 designer series paper. So you can see I started with that. And then I used a piece of the berry burst. And what it is, is I wanted one that was just slightly bigger than this flower. And then the rest of it I put here. So this is, let me get my, is like six and a half inches. And then I added some gold because I wanted it to have a little bit more shimmer to it. And so what I've done is I've added Nature Sweetness, and this is the Designer Series paper. And if you look at it closely, you can see it has sprigs. So it just kind of is a repeat of what was there. And I probably should have stamped some of the sprigs on this blue paper before I added the photo, but it's too late to do that now. But I just thought that it kind of had some of the same flavor to it. And one of the other papers of um, Nature Sweetness actually looks a whole lot like, like this background paper. So it's a bigger set of um, lines, but it's very, very similar. So I thought that was really cool. So if I want to journal more on this one, I'll probably cut a piece to do that because it ties in so nicely. So it just gives me um, an opportunity to do that. So this one I still need to put together. Okay, so again, I used, so because the card is five and a half, I wanted um, five and three quarters for here. And so it's 12 by five and three quarters. And then um, I used a five by seven photo, cut it down to kind of where I wanted it, and then added a layer of basic white. And then I added a layer of the very burst. Okay, so we need to assemble. <coughs> and then I had this here is actually the envelope flats. So because I've used three of the cards for the scrapbook, then I can cut the envelope into pieces. And I cut this off, squared it off so it was five by I think it's one and three quarters. Yeah. And I did that for three of them and I only needed two inches so that I got five and five is 10, two inches is 12. So it goes all the way across. I could have used the, um, this paper, a strip of this paper instead, but I just wanted to use as much of the, the card set as I could. And then this, so my friends forever, this is actually a font from my Microsoft Word. And this must be a recent change because I don't remember these fonts in the past, but they're called Mystical Woods Rough Script. And they have a number of script now that are more like hand script, which is fun. And even stuff like if you want a journal because you're not comfortable writing it out, there's a really fun one on Microsoft that's also really nice, which is like Dreaming Out Loud Pro, which looks like, you know, you've just printed, um, but with a little bit of a script to it. So, and then I just chose a color that I thought was as close to the berry burst as I could and printed it on regular printer paper and then fussy cut around it. So that's where this came from. So we'll, um, you know, you just do what you have to. <laughs> so, okay. So I'm going to add this to my piece of five and three quarter by 12 inch, um, very burst cardstock. And 
just so you know, the 12 by 12 comes in packs of assorted, so you get two of each color. Um, but Stampin' Up! is starting to provide um, some new scrapbooking tools starting the September 4th. So I want, um, I, as we've been wanting to have like 12 by 12 packs of whatever color we want, and they said that's in the future. They will be adding those um, as they are able, but right now they're trying really hard to come up with this um, really great scrapbooking kit and um, and also some two-tone cardstock. So I put the link on my um, Facebook, and so be sure to check that out because I think it's fabulous that they're doing that. Okay, so I really want this to just kind of barely overlap. So I think what I'm going to do, so I can make sure that this is, I'm going to butt this up against here, make sure my cardstock is butted up as well. Way that I can figure out how to do this so that it's straight is to do it like this. And I need to do the same thing over here on this end. Did I do it correct? I did. What a lucky thing. Okay, so this needs to go like so. This needs to go a little bit further down, making sure it's straight. I tell people not to require perfection of yourself, but here I am doing the same thing. Okay, so I'm just going to do one in the middle, and then I'm going to do on top, I guess I should say it's not on top, it's going to be side by side. Okay, so now I need it to I need the white on the bottom, and I want this to just make sure the cards are out of the way, so I'm not gluing other things. There we go. Side. I know that seems a little odd because I'm not centering it, but I want as many of the blooms to show as possible. And I just love how that looks. But I want this down as well. So what I've done is I've added tear and tape on the back of it to keep it together. So I just kind of laid one down, added the tear and tape, and kept rolling along. So we're just going to do the same thing. Let me get this out of the way. I just want this to run along. 
I don't know, maybe a little quarter of an inch from the edge. And then I can add this. This is so big, I'm going to go ahead and. I thought I had boots that went with this concert, but it was actually a different concert with more friends. So this was a Kenny Chesney and Eli Young band back in California concert I went together with a friend. It was so much fun. I think that it was a gift from her, if I recall correctly. And uh, just have all these precious friends that I miss a whole bunch. Okay, so this Nature Sweetness has this really pretty designer series paper. And because there was so much color here. I didn't want to add the florals like for this card or for this card here because I felt like it kind of just blended in and I still wanted a little something. And so I was thinking of adding this and then I still have the sprigs and I thought, you know, they would look good against the white and the pink and so I thought I would add those here and then I fussy cut out a little bit more of the nature sweetness and I thought it would just kind of be really pretty and then um, this up here this down below I wanted to put this thank you here I think I have a little bit of journaling. So I only took two inches, so I still had three inches by one and three quarters from the um, envelope. And I journaled on that. And I can just add that as part of the story. So actually, I can tuck this flower under here a little bit. Okay, let's Set some dimensionals. I'm using big ones this time for this. Holds up larger pieces better, I think. And you can always cut these down too. So if you don't want to have to have two different kinds of dimensionals, you're welcome to do that. I think it's a great idea. Let's just pull this down a little bit more. So it's not interfering with her face. And I've got this little sentiment as well. And then I can use the little dimensionals for this. And this, I think I'll just add some tear and tape.
this is a little bit more of a flexible paper, so I'm going to add more dimensionals just because I don't want to have it lose its or sink down too much when I have the protector on it. So that's another one of the things that Stampin' Up! is going to be adding is um, 12 by 12 memory keeping books, um, 12 by 12 page protectors. Let me get the other out because I want to get these two kind of going the same way. There we go. And then we need to add this. Okay, so I'm going to add glue dots to this. see what I'm doing and I'm just adding the glue dots in a place where it will hold the sprigs together in a position that I chose and I roll them up a little bit so that they stay in place that sure it even needs it. Hmm. Oh. Cover up too much of it. both. Let me just take a look at using just the leaf. I think I like that better. And then I can tuck this little sprig there. Okay. So now just need some of these really pretty embellishments. Beautiful. I just need to leave enough for the cards that I have, which just need these three. But I'd like to add actually this ribbon. And add a bow to it, maybe tie that in with this side. Blue dot.
Yeah. So I just added a bow to this side. So I like that. Okay, so back to the embellishments. only need two, four, six, so I have like another six I can use. I need one more to keep them odd. four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I have odd there. So now I have two more that I can apply here. There. Lovely. All right, that's it for today. So thanks so much for joining me. And um, I'll have these up hopefully on my blog later today and uh, get that out to you so you have the instructions and all the measurements that I used. And uh, just a reminder of how beautiful these... Um, oh, I forgot. This is was supposed to go on here. And this is supposed to go on here. So I forgot that. I had an extra one of these. So I decided to to add these. So this one was Eli Young Bat, um, Band. So Love Them Like Crazy. Or should I put it over here? And this one There we go. Forgot about that. All right. Now I'm done. Really done. <laughs> so thanks for joining me today. Have a great Friday and a great weekend. And I'll see you on Monday. And just as a reminder, we had all these beautiful cards. So you can either do the cards or you can do scrapbook layouts. And, you know, if you have a bunch of stuff that you need to do, you can use the whole kit for scrapbooking. I think it would be really beautiful. So, all right. We'll talk soon. Again, it's Angela with Wild Violets Art. If you're watching on YouTube later, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks so much.